This real Ghana world boxing, Akwaba. Welcome to my channel. Madas said thank you for tuning in. Make sure you hit the subscribe button on your way in, on your way out. Also, hit that notification bell to get the latest videos. Peace. Emmanuel Game Boy Tago took on Yacheslev Gusev from Russia. Emmanuel Game Boy Tago was definitely doing his thing, you know. Uh he's a boxer, a good boxer. 29 and 1. Uh just became 30 and 1. Uh, got a unanimous decision, okay, over game over uh, Gusev. Gusev was, you know, is a, is a it's not really a threat. So ba basically let's talk about Game Boy cuz I have a problem with this shoulder roll that a lot of people try to steal from Mayweather, you know, but they don't have the, the, you know they don't perfect it. You know Game Boy gets hit quite often when he does the shoulder roll. But lucky for him, he has good head movement. Now, look, man, this is this was a, a definitely a good showing for him. You know he, they said he's moving to the to the U.S. You know I, he signed with Lou DiBella as well as uh, Richard Comey. Now this he won the uh, international WBO IBF. Okay, but you know we we know who the, who the IBF champ is, Richard Comey. Uh, you know I'm thinking they want to both try to become champions so I, I doubt that they fight each other you know the WBO route leads to Lomachenko so uh, that's very tough that's a very tough uh, choice there but look man he's coming to the States one of them you know is he gonna move out of 135 because this is a this is a lightweight he's in the same division as Richard Comey 135 now anyways uh, you know they want to become the uh, domestic rivals is up to them but uh I'm, I'm, I think I heard Richard say that he wants to, uh, you know, he doesn't want to fight his, his own countrymen. You know, he'd rather, you know, uh, have, have, you know, he'd rather, you know, one guy goes for one belt, the other guys go to, go for another, and they can come together at the end of the table. You know, and uh, they can come together at the end of the day and fight in Ghana for for unification, if, 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 if at all possible. But like I said, Game Boy has won the international spot. So uh, I don't know which route he's taking, but I, I doubt that he goes... The IBF route that leads to Kome, you know. But look, what a good fight, you know. Like I said, man, he, you know, he always has good boxing. Uh, I just he's a little sloppy right now, but he's, he's you know, he's, he's got 30 fights under his belt, so it's it's time to really show that you know you are a, a force to be reckoned with in this 135 division. Now, you know, I, I went about two minutes, and I, I apologize. I didn't think. Uh, Thank you all for tuning in. This is real Ghana world boxing. Um, this is definitely going to be a, a, a major uh, resource for Ghana boxing. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. But Mayo Tego, man, uh, you know he this Asamoah Gyan's uh, fight night definitely did well for himself. You know he definitely, you know, hey, he got the victory. That's all that matters. You know, all wins aren't pretty. I'll tell you that. But like uh, the judges scored at 120, 107, 118, 109, 119, 108 for Emmanuel Tego. Uh, unanimous decision there. Look, man. Once he get in there with these, you know, he's crossing, he's crossing seas. He's coming to America. Once he gets in there with some, uh, some very uh, variety of styles, we gonna see it what he's made of. You know, I think he got what it takes to be a, a contender and eventually a champion. But look, let's be realistic, man. He needs to drop that shoulder roll. Like, I mean, I wish I would have brought this up. I think I brought this up earlier. But I'm saying, not too many guys could use that. A lot of guys try to use it. Like, for example, Adrian Broner. He's he's not really, you know, he, he's not on the level of a manual takeover. But I'm just saying, when you use the shoulder roll and you don't know how to use it properly, it's going to become a problem because you get hit a lot. You get hit a lot. You know, it's, it's only, you, and plus you don't use it, you don't use it often. You don't use it often. You, it's, it's like a tool, you know, it's like a tool you might want to use in certain situations. But, the main defense is your footwork and your head movement. And Mayo Taylor got really good head movement. And like I said, man, in this fight, he showed that, you know, he's strong. He was stronger. He's more athletic. You know, he was he was bullying um, Yusef often, you know. But that 12th round, you know, it, it, I wish I would have seen Mayo Taylor close the show more in the 12th round. You know, uh, in the last round, I should say. Uh, I mean, it's the last round. So, we got to close the show hard. You know, you're fighting in Bukam. You're fighting for, in front of your fans. You know, um, definitely... The body work, if, if you can't get, you know, I didn't, I didn't see enough body work. You know, uh, Tego's a good body puncher. So, I mean, you know, I mean, he could place his shots very well. You know, you, this guy, Gusev is weak. 
you know, the guy, he lost five fights. Uh, six, is a six fight he lost, you know. Uh, once, you know, once you leave six fights, over. But anyways, look, good showing for uh, Tago, man. Coming to the U.S., you know. Let's see where he fights next. Uh, Asimo Gian, man, doing a great thing for Ghana Boxing, man. Keep the shows going at Bukam Arena. Definitely, you know, definitely a good, a good outing. This is real Ghana World Boxing.